that is okay the unloading and then okay the deconsolidation and then okay the put away and then similarly okay i can just okay having with the ob01 which is nothing but okay the picking and then okay the packing and then okay the staging also so otherwise okay same thing okay can combine with okay the ob01 and then okay once it got packed okay so i just want to okay send it to the vas work centers also okay let's suppose like okay adding the piece once it got packed okay assuming that okay you want to send it to inspection or okay where actually somebody checked for the packing and then okay assuming that okay some more okay the shrink wrap okay if you want to add it here and then okay if you want to send it for the staging also okay so basically what actually you are trying to do is that okay you are trying to add okay the multiple steps okay to the outbound also so everything okay here okay we call it as okay the process oriented okay storage control now okay uh, can somebody tell me this thing okay if i want to activate the process oriented storage control in the inbound okay where did we uh, assign this thing suppose okay for my inbound if i want to have a storage process okay where we did assign this thing where the process type there was process type okay exactly okay so we assigned it in the warehouse process type okay in the outbound okay it is not at the process type but it is at the warehouse order okay creation role okay so please remember okay the difference okay between the inbound and the outbound also so for the outbound whenever if you want to have a storage process it should be linked it in the corresponding okay the warehouse order creation role So what happened to our system? uh let me take it uh, the another way also so meanwhile okay uh uh suras can you just give the other server short button is working still huh this, that is also not working oh is it okay so can okay, let me okay take you through the theory hey, i think there's a lot of echo also buddy i think okay somebody you okay, can just mute it okay so what actually we can do here is that uh, uh we can create a particular okay the warehouse order okay creation rule and then okay we can link at the storage type so that okay ultimately okay this is going to be linked it to the particular activity area or okay we can link it to the particular activity area so for any warehouse task okay, okay. hello okay i think this is a lot of echo so uh so we can link it okay to the corresponding okay the activity area area so when the warehouse order creation rule okay takes place so that particular okay the warehouse order creation rule okay is linked okay to the 
storage process so which actually okay triggers the our steps also ob01 ob02 and then okay ob03 but for always okay the process oriented storage control okay is the hu is mandatory yes okay, okay. so for the storage for the process control okay so the hu is okay the mandatory hey i think somebody is on speakers buddy so they can just just come to the headphones if it's okay. okay. So what actually we need here is that okay, the HU is mandatory, okay. So we need to have okay the pick HU also okay to work this thing, okay. So if this pick HU it okay, has to be proposed by the system okay automatically, but later actually okay, if you want it okay, we can change the corresponding okay the pick HU also. So when the warehouse worker actually executes a particular pick operation okay, this particular pick HU okay will be proposed okay based on okay the pack spec. Please remember this. Okay, the pack spec is the one which contains that. Okay, what is the possible way of okay that okay which packing material is good okay to pick the particular material also. So you will have a particular pack spec, and then okay, which will is used okay to create the pick HU also. So what we can do is that okay we can always specify that okay whether the pick HU you can use it as the same shipping HU, or if you want it okay you can just okay ignore that particular setting also. So whenever if you want to enable okay, the process oriented storage control, okay, you need to have a HU as a mandatory. So that is why okay, you need to have okay the pick HU proposal, okay, which will be used okay based on the pack spec. So once you define the pack spec, okay, the pack spec. Do you remember okay, even for the VAS also we use the pack spec also. So we used okay the condition of zero VSI, right? Okay, same thing okay here also. Zero WHR is a I'll just okay warehouse order okay creation rule okay the particular okay the condition record which we need to use it in the pack spec so this condition record drives the pack spec determination which is in turn okay used for the pick HU creation user okay start the picking operation so once this is done then it will go to the packing center automatically and these things is it clear now so what is the complete okay the outbound process also and how the storage process works in the outbound also. Is it clear now? Hello? Any doubts here? Yes, no, it's okay. Okay. So this is the way, okay, how that okay the storage process control okay works it in the outbound. Now okay, I don't have the system to show you. No. So now when the wave comes into the picture, the same process only, okay. So for the wave, okay, if you want to work it, okay, so first thing is that, okay, you have to define, okay, the wave template, okay, then determination of, okay, the particular, okay, the wave also. That means, okay, you will have, okay, for different products or, okay, based on the different timings, okay, you will have, okay, the different waves. So you need to define, okay, the determination of, okay, the wave. So that for a particular delivery items, okay, a particular okay, the way which will get determined, okay. So okay, wave will be determined. Now when you release the wave, okay, so system will create okay the pick task automatically. And once, okay, from this onwards, okay, if the process oriented storage control is relevant, okay, for these particular, okay, the warehouse order, okay, then, okay, the process oriented storage control also, okay, also, okay, will come into the picture, process oriented storage control. Is it clear now? So, you can just, okay, combine the warehouse order creation rule is independent and also the wave is also independent. So, for a wave, you need to first, okay, define the wave template and then okay use the condition record so that okay it will particularly determine the wave and then okay this particular wave you can just create it in the background or if you want it okay system can create it automatically and then this particular release of the wave okay you can release the wave okay manually using the transaction code okay scwm wave or okay you can usually schedule this thing as a background job that means okay daily at 3 o'clock the wave has to release automatically means you can schedule this particular thing as a background job so that okay when the wave releases okay system will get create the pick task automatically and for this pick task if my warehouse order creation rule is having a storage process okay then for those particular tasks okay it will go through the ob0102 or 03 or okay, it may be n number of steps also 
So like these things, okay, the outbound is okay, completely okay, integrated with the wave and as well as with the storage process control also. Is it clear now? Yeah. Hmm. Can we, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we resolve or achieve uh, after the corporate? Uh, sorry, actually, uh, I just missed the voice. Uh, series. What is it? Uh, can we resolve the achieve after the corporate? No, no. After the put away, what is the question actually? After the put away, I need to, you know, uh, say for example, on the, on the pallets, I have, uh, say, my 10 number of packs. Right? So, uh, I no, propose it, propose it. Uh, the voice actually is not clear. It's actually, there's a lot of echo. I can hear my voice itself. Yes, me too. <laughs> hey, somebody, can you please mute, okay? Please, please. Yeah, yeah go ahead, propose it. Uh, for example, uh, during the put away, I need to put 10 bags on the pallet, right? During put away? So, during the put away, I need to put 10, 10 bags on a particular pallet. Okay, 10 bags on a pallet, yeah. Yes. And now if my put away is done, so I want to dissolve this issue and pick the, uh, you know, uh, pick on the basis of the bags, not on the basis of the issue. Okay. How can I achieve this? No, no. See, when you did talk okay, the 10 bags on the pallet, okay, you want to actually, okay, keep those things in a new HU or, okay, you want to use the same HU? No, I don't want to use HU. The only thing that I want to do is I want to pick according to that. I should be able to see my routine number of bags, not the number of bags. Yeah, so what actually we can do is that in that case, actually, put, okay, these 10 bags on the new HU. Okay. And then, okay, put them in a different HU so that, okay, the whatever the HU use for the pallet, okay, you can reuse it again also. Uh, no, I didn't get that. Uh, see, okay, uh, let's take this example, okay. Uh, reusable, okay, para, quotes actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, take this kind of scenario. So, you take in, okay, these 10 bags and then, okay, put it in a one reuse, reusable tote and then, okay, finally you move it to the final location. So at the time of okay, the final location confirmation, you created okay your own HU and then okay moved the destination HU as a new HU. Mm -hmm. Is it clear now? So okay, this particular okay the port is okay now available free. Mm -hmm. Or okay you can just make this destination HU as blank so that okay this reusable tote again you can use it if you want it. No, I'm I don't want to move into any other issue. I just want that my inventory should be available, uh, you know, in the number of bags, have them in the number of pallets, so that whenever I'm going to pick the particular material, I have mm -hmm. to see the bags rather than the you know, uh, number of bags shown in the pallets. No, because, okay, the HU number is unique in the system. Mm -hmm. And, okay, the same HU number cannot exist at two places. Because okay, HU means it's like a, even the stock is also linked to the particular HU. Yes. For example, I have one HU with the number of say 100. Yeah. So, uh, can I, uh, you know, um, is there any facility in the system that I can dissolve this HU? Because HU means I can only see the number of bags uh, than the, no. you know, number of bags than the HU. No, because, okay, uh, the HU is actually tied to the quantity, so you cannot uh, do those things. Because, okay, everything actually stores in the line table, so the same HU cannot exist at two places. Okay, if you go to the table, okay, SCWM, HU header, okay, it's again, okay, pointed to the one stock ID. Mm -hmm. And this stock ID actually, okay, again pointed to that, okay, which bin and, okay, the material and, okay, the how much quantity also. Or, okay, it may be related to the batch also. So, in this case, actually, if you want to use it two places, okay, this link actually is like a one-to-one -one kind of relation. Uh, no, it's, it's not about using it the two places. I just want that my inventory should be available. 
and I should be able to pick number of bags that I want to pilot. No, no, that you can use. Uh, no, no. Uh, can you come up because I think I cannot hear the voice clearly. Can I get the requirement actually? I mean, it's one thing. Hey, there's a lot of echo. Please. Okay, yeah. Can you just come up with the requirement? Hey guys, can you just please mute for a while? Uh, otherwise, okay, somebody is on speakers also. Yeah, go ahead, Professor. Now. My requirement is that I need to uh, do a put away in an HU. For example, I have 10 bags from one pallet. Okay, put away in HU, right? Is your requirement? Yeah. Okay. So 10 yeah. bags, okay? Yeah, 10 bags in one pallet. Okay, so you have okay the pallet has a HU and then okay it has a unique number. Yes, right. Okay, yeah. Now when I want to pick this particular material, I should be able to pick you know each bag rather than one pallet. Yeah, that you can do it, right? Uh, I will choose this. I'm not sure on that. No, no, because okay when you specify, let's take that okay you want to pick only two quantities only. Yes, right. Okay, so okay. you can specify okay that okay, okay. that two so bags alone. Okay. So uh, then I need to move the remaining into the another HU or the, they can be. No, no, the source HU will still remain there only. So source HU you don't need to bother. Okay. So the only thing is that okay, that this acts as my source HU. Even okay, if you look at yesterday, okay, we picked the one quantity from the source HU only. So this becomes a source HU, but okay, the destination, okay, I need to create a new HU. Okay, if it is a two quantity, okay, but for the last material, okay, for the last bag, okay, which I want to pick it up, okay, I can use okay the source HU as okay the destination HU. Okay. Does it make sense now? Do I need to have a destination at you as a mandatory thing? Uh, not mandatory. Unless okay, you use a processor and test storage control, it's not mandatory. Okay. So without the destination at you, I can also pick two bags. Of course, of course. Not, not at all in this year. Okay. okay. So yesterday also we did the same thing, okay. If you want it, okay, you can use that particular pick HU so that, okay, usually it's a best practice, okay, rather than, okay, picking a product and then, okay, keeping it in the, its own place, okay, always, okay, pick it into the pick HU and then drop it so that it's easy for tracking also. Yeah. Because usually, okay, we apply the pick labels, okay, and the pick HU label on each tote, okay, so it will be easy, okay, in my warehouse, okay, to track it, okay, if somebody scans that particular pick HU, they can exactly know that, okay, what is the task and what is the delivery and where it has to go also. Okay, okay so that's the way, that's a, that's why only we use the pick HU, otherwise, okay, if it is like a, a very big, big kind of parts, okay, I can still execute it, okay, without using pick HU also. So pick HU is not a mandatory thing. Okay. Okay, is it clear now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for the last bag, okay, we can use okay the same source H U as a destination H U if you want it, okay. Okay, okay yeah. So once actually this outbound is completed, I just want to take you through the MFS also. And then, okay, well, within MFS itself, okay, I'll cover the layout or the storage control. Can you how this conveyor is integrated here? Uh, this what through MFS to integrate. So what mm -hmm. it will do, yeah. Asatya, one question here like now, I'm talking about mapping of handling unit. Mm -hmm. Just take an example. Like when we talk about the SAP R3. Yeah. In the sum storage location we are telling like at is mandatory. Yeah. And when this storage location is mapped with the WM, we are activating mm -hmm. SU management active. Yep. Okay. So when we talk about the EWM point of view, mm -hmm. do you feel like just think like my client is asking, I want to keep my material in a packed condition. Yeah. 
So when I am going for EWM, so this uh, config setting is required, yes or no? See, the thing is that, okay, if H2 type is mandatory required means, always H2 is required, okay? If you don't set the flag means, okay, you can put the stock either a packed or unpacked also. Either, both the flexibilities are available. Yeah, correct, correct. Yes. So that way, okay, if you want it as a mandatory, you can make it. Otherwise, you can just make it as a non-mandatory so that okay, you can combine hmm. both also. Okay, just take a second. I've gone for an option without uh, mandatory options. Yeah, but see, if you want it, you can use it actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then I'm go uh, going for an EWM point of view. Yeah. So I can keep my material in a packed condition in the yes. warehouse. Yes. And then when I will go and I can see the S number, SU number will be there or not? Like only HU will be there. It will be there. No, it will be there. HU number, everything will be there. Okay, that's a good feature, correct? Like uh, it's a, uh, I think See, actually we have. Okay. Yeah, suppose sometimes, okay, suppose if the users actually don't want to pack it and if they want to move it directly, so hmm. if you want to avoid the errors, you can make it as a mandatory. Otherwise, okay, if you already configured the process okay properly, always okay the pick H or the put away H has to be created mandatory through your RF can, then okay you can make that as a non-mandatory so that the okay, system will take care of it. But okay, H number will be available to you. Okay, because then uh, sometimes the SAP R3 point of view, when we are going there, mm -hmm. we cannot trace it. Something like optional point of view. I no, no, good no, here you can, no, here you can trace it completely. Yeah, yeah that's a good option. Like you have flexibility yeah. also. And then yeah, yeah. So flexibility and as well as you can track it completely also. Good, good. Yeah. Okay, guys, okay, I don't know what happened to the system. I'm just bringing them. Hmm. Suraj, is your system is working? Can you just please check it once, please? Checking. Yeah, if, if that system works, at least I can cover that warehouse auto creation rule, okay, and also I can integrate with that. No. Oh, it's working? Okay. Yeah, okay. You want uh, this? Yeah, Login just, details? Uh, just okay, can you just give me okay this one, okay, the IP address first thing. Because, okay. Yeah, one minute. Jenny? Yep. Yep. 183? Uh, one uh, Yeah, one is one eight two eight two uh two three eight yeah dot seven zero okay. seven That's correct. Yeah. And instance number and double eight 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 eight. Okay, system ID uh EH four. System ID the system ID is EH four. Oh, for SCM system. This oh, is SCM system. SCM, uh, this one is a ECC six ERP. Okay. ECC six. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Uh, Another one uh, is a seventy eight. Uh, uh, one, uh, one, 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 one minute. System ID is SCM. What is, same IP right? Uh, same IP. So instance number is uh, seven eight. System ID is SCM. Okay, let me try to do, yeah, do you have any user ID here? WM, I think I think I was having it, okay, SAP user, okay. India, two, three, let me try. No, do you know anybody, Suraj, any user ID here? Yeah, yeah you can try UWM, but, yeah, you try. Osman is trying to me, so if you go to the GI process, so yesterday, okay, we talked about, okay, the strategies also. 
so we covered okay the stock removal and also we specified the storage step set sequence and we defined the indicator and this particular indicator okay we used it in the material master also and then finally we specified okay the storage type okay the set sequence also there is a one feature okay which you can use it okay the system okay always okay no need to consider okay the all the way okay to the down if you want to make it as a priority all the way okay to the down if you want to make it as a priority always you can always say that always only these indicators has to be considered only suppose only the process type only are okay or it has to consider okay, the stock removal uh, indicator also. So if you specify these things only, these particular fields only will be considered. So do you remember, so do you remember okay, okay uh, yesterday, we, yesterday we, our thing is, thing is uh, not picking not the, the right, right picking, uh, picking strategy. strategy. Uh, Kanan? Yep, yep, please mute please your system. Okay. okay, so Yesterday, if you look at actually for the EHYD warehouse, okay, we are actually using the process type, okay, but actually it was not taking our stock removal control indicator into the picture also. So you need to, okay, just check this particular box also, the stock removal country, control indicator so that, okay, these two particular flags, it will consider it, okay, when the strategy is getting determined also. Okay. So this way, okay, this is a, most of the times we use it for the optimization. Otherwise, okay, if you want it, okay, we check all the fields itself. <laughs> okay. So Sinin. now, yeah. Sinin? Now, yeah. 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 You're telling us if you use uh, optimization, then it will go to particular check, whatever. It yes, okay. Says. Suppose if you use this thing. What yeah, about yeah. if you even go normal without this, should go to our process, correct? Okay. okay, no, no, the normal one, okay, because these flags are checked, so the system is uh, telling the, the people because that, the material master please use, directly map the no, no, the material master indicator. is specified, okay, but in the status, in the optimization strategy, it's mentioned that don't consider that indicator here. Don't consider that indicator here. This is an optimization purpose, correct? You want the yeah. best yes, performance, yes. whatever. Yes, yes. But without this also, we can achieve our... Yeah. Right. So in that case, actually, just remove this uh, line at all here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I should not get it. Uh, put it both place. That's right. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, okay. if you put it there, just check this checkbox. Okay. And then, okay, just simply save it. Okay. So usually we use this thing. Okay. Suppose if you are not using this particular fields, otherwise system will keep on. Okay. Go and set on these fields also. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, look at okay quickly for the wave management. Okay, so same thing for the wave also. Okay, you just okay need to define okay the number ranges also, and if you want to enable okay the two-step picking okay which we usually we do through the wave management. Okay, if you want it, okay, you need to activate okay combine okay the two activity areas here. Okay, so if you want to activate these things, okay, you can just okay. What is a two-step picking? Uh, pick and pass kind of thing. Okay. So instead of okay, the, once the first is picking, okay, all the products will be picked up, and then okay, uh, from multiple storage types, okay, I'll pick it to the common area, and from there actually, okay, I'll be moving okay to the actual destination. Okay. 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 So for the performance reason, for the okay, performance you can. Reason, okay, you can you can activate always the parallel processing for wave, okay? So here actually, okay, you can just enable, okay, the parallel wave processing, and then, okay, uh, this is completely for the ABAP performance point of view for the server. So usually what is the problem here is that, okay, for a particular, okay, let's take that, okay, you assign, okay, the 100 deliveries, okay, to one wave, okay? Now, assuming that, okay, there are, okay, 100 items, okay, in each delivery also. Okay, so when you release this particular wave, okay, so system actually, okay, will try to release, okay, create almost like, okay, 10,000, okay, tasks, okay. So when the 10,000 tasks actually got created, okay, if each task actually is going to get created sequentially, okay, system will take a lot of time, okay, to finish this particular work also. So if you want it, okay, in the particular warehouse, okay, you can activate that, okay, the parallel processing, this is completely for the performance thing, and based on your hardware resources, okay, you can specify that, okay, how many are the maximum work processor available 
and if you want to exactly okay execute this particular activity on a particular okay log on or server group i think most of you might be knowing these things okay for the load balancing server have you have heard of this word load balancing yes yeah uh, okay NLB, suppose, right? suppose, yeah suppose yeah. Okay, if you have okay 1000 users okay in the system also usually the 100 okay i'll point it to one server and the different 100 i'll point it to other server also based on uh, cpu load balance exactly so if you want it, okay, you can enable that. Okay, the parallel wave processing. Okay, so this is all the main important for us. Actually, in parallel yeah. wave processing, yeah. Yeah. is there any uh -huh. way we will get duplicate pickup? No, no, Means, no, no, uh, no, no. Do you pick one second, two, one more? No, no, it's only no, it's only to create the warehouse tasks only. Okay. Okay, so basically okay. thing is that okay, instead of doing this activity sequentially, okay, okay. Thousand, ten thousand tasks you are creating parallelly means the five thousand from one process. Yes, exactly. Okay, so five thousand I can assign to one work process once, and then okay, the remaining five thousand okay, okay. can go to the different work pro application okay. server also. Is a document just a document? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So here, okay, you just need to define okay the yeah. Uh, Satya, one question here. Think for like no. an EWM point of view. Uh -huh. You have a different server, correct? Only, it's for only no. for EWM. Like when I'm going to no, no. the server no, point no. of view. No, no, it's not a different server means, okay? Uh, when I say that, okay, yeah, for us it's one server, server. But if but you go to the actual, actual server, server, I'll just show you. Okay, it may be a combination of okay the multiple application servers also. Can you see here now? Okay, here usually you may have okay the more than one active instance also, central instances. Yeah, yes, I got a point. But my question is that in the EWM point of view, hardly we have maybe twenty servers. Maximum. Sorry. Let me take an example. The global connection is there. Yeah, please, if you don't talk, please mute it. Your echo is coming from your side only. Yeah. Yes, Rini. Yeah, go ahead, Satya. Yeah. My question is that something I want to estimate for a server point of view. Just think like tomorrow we are going for EWM. Uh -huh. And worldwide globally, uh, globally I can tell I need a 100 users, maximum okay. at a time. Uh -huh. So how many servers have to go for it? Right? Like okay. Application server. Okay, go to this particular thing, service dot okay, sap dot com slash sizing. Okay. Okay, so there you can find something called as a okay, quick sizer. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. so in the quick sizer, okay, you need to estimate that. Okay, how much? So how based on okay for the EWM? Okay, you have okay the number of users and also that okay the volume. Okay, you have to enter it. So it will give the output as okay the number of okay. Okay, number of SAPs required. Okay, it's a terminology okay which SAP uses, and then okay you we can just okay if this particular SAPs okay different websites okay has a HP or okay IBM or okay Cisco or okay the EMC Square okay they have okay their own okay the they've got different hardware vendors okay they provide okay the different ways of the same thing for the equivalent one. So okay, that yeah. tells that okay exactly how much RAM or okay what kind of how many blades are required and all these things. Okay. Okay. So this is the website. Okay, service dot sap dot com slash sizing. So which actually usually yeah. is done by okay the, the help of functional and as well as the basis guys. Okay, usually decide these things. Yes, and, and then okay, how much ideal okay you want it have it also. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can just go to this Silver website. Question. Yeah. Uh, do you have any soft copy of EWM uh, SAP Press book? On. Um, Usually I don't have it, but okay, uh, I have a hard copy. Okay, hard I will get in India. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Otherwise, go to the Hyderabad Koti Center. Okay, there they will sell it for hundred rupees. The Jarak uh, copies. Copy? Hard copies. <laughs> yeah, hard copy is it's getting not, in India. Okay. It's not available to India. Oh, is it? Okay. No, no, I got it actually. The any book you can sell it, yeah. No, it's yeah, any book, but this EWM book is not in there. No, I think yeah, I got it actually. <laughs> okay. Hey, Suraj, you're trying to hide a bat. 
not in uh, chennai or uh, <laughs> any no, book okay you tell uh, them okay they will sell it okay as a same like okay the binder version everything will look like same only <laughs> yeah 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 shrini shrini ha huh? shrini uh, yeah. quick question regarding this book um Uh, if the, the material whatever you have given uh, that is enough to practice or we have to go through the books and then, no, you know no it is not mandatory i can say the material itself is more than enough i can say hmm. just to, to practice and to get yeah. the no no it's more than enough of yeah. hands on knowledge the more the the yeah otherwise okay is, yeah maybe otherwise what you can do is that okay you can just order the book and then okay return it okay after within 10 days <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No. <laughs> It's like a day trip. I don't say all. <laughs> Just like giving the ideas, okay? Idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So. Sometimes reading a language is good. That's why you do nothing more, right? That's the only language. Sometimes you feel better. Nothing more. Otherwise, sitting here is better. I think. Correct. <laughs> yeah so yeah for the wave okay see here you just okay define that okay the wave types okay and then okay you can define okay if you want to categorize your waves okay you can just categorize them as a multiple okay the categories what are the way you want it okay so just like okay used to okay you can use it okay when the release is happening you can use them as a criteria now suppose okay if you want to okay have it as a automatic okay the wave generation so assuming that okay for my process type okay the 2010 in the warehouse okay why 900 okay if i want to have it as okay the whenever okay if my warehouse request got created okay it has to create my wave automatically otherwise okay if i want to create a wave okay i have to go to the transaction code okay scwm wave and then i have to create my wave and then okay i need to assign it otherwise okay if you want to automatically system has to create the wave so what you need to have is that you need to have a wave template and as well as a condition okay should be available then only it will work otherwise okay system cannot create this automatic wave also so if you want okay to get created okay you just need to check this check box only that's the only simple setting only then if you want to define okay the capacity profile okay you can just define it okay this capacity profile contains that okay how many maximum number of items okay you can put it okay those kind of restrictions okay you can keep it here next Name? thing is yeah um are you really yeah, in the next class will you create all this one and uh, give us the demo or uh, what exactly no, no we are just actually no we are just okay do, going to do this thing all except okay the capacity profile we are just okay defined okay the wave types also okay and then okay the wave categories we just defined it uh, for the time being okay i'm just not creating the automatic wave but okay i'll create the wave manually and then okay for the particular wave okay we can assign the outbound deliveries is it okay anand what is this uh, wave category okay. history no wave okay when or if you define it okay you can assign it to the particular categories okay it's like a grouping of the waves different types of waves okay so for all okay category, okay so all actually okay because each wave okay can contain okay the different timings also or okay one wave for the hazardous materials alone you want to use it hmm okay so you can just categorize them so whenever if you have multiple waves okay so first thing is that okay you can define the field catalog which is used for the condition record so most of the times okay the standard field itself for enough Okay, can you see here? So these are all the fields, okay, which you can use it, okay, for the wave determination. Is it clear now? Suppose, okay, for different activity areas, I want to use the different waves also. So I can use, okay, the based on the activity area, or okay, based on the process type, or based on the staging area, or for the customer, or based on the door. All these fields I can use it in my condition record. If you want it, okay, even you can add, okay, the, your own fields also. But most of the times, okay, the standard SAP delivered fields itself are enough. okay so you have already the condition tables already available okay so based on the activity area if you any then okay yeah can you do you need a template always yeah of course okay the template is always required okay otherwise okay, you cannot okay use it okay suppose okay the warehouse number okay you can see that okay the access sequence okay okay 
based on SAP warehouse number, okay, it just contains only the fields, okay, the, based on the warehouse number and as well as, okay, the document category. This is, okay, one of the condition records which is available. If you want, okay, you can create, okay, the, your own, okay, the access sequence also. Okay, you can see here that, okay, the condition type is zero warehouse number and the description and, okay, same thing like, okay, wherever we use the condition records, it's all same process only. Throughout SAP, whatever the module you go, the condition record always, okay, contains the condition type and then, okay, access sequence. Access sequence, okay, contains, okay, the multiple condition records. So, anybody do not know about the condition records? I just want to give you, okay, see here, same thing, okay. First thing, okay, what I shown you is that, okay, Anant, okay, even if you have a doubt, okay, first thing is that, okay, you need to have, okay, the list of fields, okay. Based on the list of fields, okay, you will be building, okay, the condition tables, okay. Condition tables, okay, contains the condition records. Is it clear now? Okay, now, I'll have something called as, okay, the condition type. Condition type is nothing but linked to a access sequence. So, each access sequence means, okay, it's a list of, okay, the condition records or list of conditions which are nothing but, okay, the pointed to the condition records which satisfy my criteria. Is it clear now? Everybody? It's the same concept, okay, throughout SAP. Okay. Okay, so first, okay, we have list of fields and then, okay, we have condition tables which are nothing but, okay, contain the condition records and then, okay, once you have a condition type, condition type is, again, pointed to the access sequence and this access sequence is nothing but, okay, contains, okay, the, if you go to the access sequence, okay, same thing, okay, if you go to any condition record, okay, access sequence contains the multiple accesses this is nothing but, okay, the one condition record of, okay, the SAP warehouse number. If you look at, okay, the fields, okay, it is just simply based on the warehouse number and as well as, okay, the document category. Okay. So, if you want it, okay, you can define your own condition times and then you can define, okay, the determination procedure also. Okay. This is my determination procedure. So, this determination procedure is based on this particular condition type. If you want it, okay, you can add, okay, your own conditions also here. Okay, you can see that, okay, now for the warehouse, okay, Y900, okay, document category is, okay, for LG number, okay, and the document category, and this is my document type, please follow this particular condition record, okay. So, similarly, tomorrow if you are having a different document type, okay, you can use, okay, your own procedure also. So, the condition procedure is, okay, this one. Okay, this is my, okay, the condition group and then, okay, this is the condition group also. So, warehouse number and as well as, okay, the document category. If you want it, okay, you can change these values if you want it. Okay. Now, so once, okay, if you have, okay, the wave determination, okay, so let's, okay, go to that, okay, the master data, ng, sorry, So, slash n, okay, if you want to create a wave, a CWM slash, okay, wave is the transaction code. Okay, so Y900. So, actually, I am creating, okay, this wave manually, okay, but whereas in the same SPRO settings, okay, if you would have checked that particular condition, okay, then system, okay, it has to create, okay, the wave, okay, automatically to you also. So, the, our first wave, okay, it is getting created, okay. If you look at actually the wave, okay, 
you can always okay link it to a particular okay the wave template so that okay the most of the fields like okay the cut off date release date okay there are not even okay the one wave template is defined also okay so if you can have a wave template so that okay system okay can create okay the wave template all these dates like cut off date release date okay by what time okay the pick has to be completed and by what time okay the staging has to be completed okay all these values okay it will be available to you automatically okay that's the advantage of okay the Wave. Can you where okay. do you maintain the condition reports? Sorry? Where do you maintain the condition reports? No, no. Condition records are used to determine the template only. Okay, I'll just show you that thing. Okay. Can you see here? Okay, yes. Okay, so here is a place okay where you can okay define the condition records okay for determine the wave templates. Okay. okay, so suppose okay for the different materials okay if you want to have okay the can you see here now based on the created by or okay, based on the release status or based on the warehouse mm -hmm. number or okay these things or okay for the different document categories if you want it. Otherwise okay you can define okay you can create your own fields and then okay you can use it here also. Okay. So that's the way, okay. You can just use it, and also I'll just show you, okay, how to define, okay, the template also. So you can just, okay, define, okay, the different templates, okay. So just, okay, uh, I'm just defining a new template, okay. Let's take that, okay, the Z underscore, okay. Uh, only for, okay, the hazard materials, okay. Hazard materials, okay. Wave, okay. And release method, you can specify that, okay, whether the once the wave got created, it has to be immediately released or only the manual, or okay, by using that, okay, the background program as automatic also. So I'm just okay keeping this thing as a manual. Okay, the number range, okay. Yes. Okay, now. You can just specify that okay the time attributes. Okay. Wave cut off time. It's like at three o'clock. Okay, daily evening, okay, assuming that it's seven forty one, okay. I'm just okay. So after this time, okay, you cannot add okay the new items to this particular wave. Is it clear now? What is meant by cut off time means? Okay, till what time okay you can add okay the items also? And then okay, I can specify that okay, cutoff place is one. And then okay, once this is done, okay, the wave release, okay, wave release, okay, I'm going to do it, okay, the at 20 o'clock, 20:41 is the last, okay, the wave release. I'm going to always specify okay these timings, okay, based on okay the different trucks, okay, you are going to have it or okay these things. What is this thing? Okay, the attribute, okay, the wave release days, okay, and then okay, the pick, okay, has to be completed, okay. By okay the uh, 17 okay 43 okay it has to okay yeah so pick has to be completed okay by this particular time okay and pick completion okay the number of days okay before the wave completion okay which is zero okay and packing okay it has to be completed okay by 19 okay 48. Okay, packing completion, okay, before, okay, the wave is going to get released, Sini? okay, yeah. Sini, this is the pitch yeah. completion and the packing completion, this yeah. is system, we are entering some date, correct, time, right, yeah. so this will be first the uh, picket to complete before this time or what kind of notification they will get, uh, this, this is no, system, no, no, right. Okay. No, it's a system only, no. so the, not yeah. the notification is that, okay, when somebody actually, okay, try to, uh, what actually I can say is that okay the it's not exactly the time system will give a warning message that okay you have to finish this timing okay by this particular time so that okay then only the truck can that release time what will happen no no let's take this example okay uh, because I picked okay. all things and I came back and updated the system See, the time yeah, is you, uh, greater than this uh, fixed time yeah system will give a warning message to you that okay you are okay lagging behind all these things okay <laughs> okay 
because the wave is uh, try to control the peak completion and uh, packing completion correct yeah usually okay we give only the uh, what time actually the wave will get released okay usually we yeah that is only is uh, to create usually okay uh, yeah usually okay we use us. this thing only correct <laughs> Okay, the rest actually usually we ignore the thing. Yeah, this will uh, help to create the task. Correct. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that's what. Okay, I'm just giving you the all the options. Okay, what are all the things you have it. Okay. Okay, okay. Just to answer, answer. That's right. Okay, so you can have the calendar, and then okay, you can use it to okay, get. This applicable only for the particular okay the staging area, and okay, if you want it okay applicable only for that particular capacity profile. Okay, only these things. Okay, you can use it. Okay. Okay, now whenever if you have this particular wave template, now okay, I'll just show you. Okay, so if you go to that, okay, now SCWM slash wave. Okay, so when you try to create a wave. Okay, so just okay when I go here. <laughs> now you can use the template, okay, which I created. Okay, can you see here? We just created one template, okay, the hazard material wave template. Now. If I just use this particular template, okay. Now the system actually, okay, has to propose, okay, the. Can you see here now? Its system, okay, will propose, okay. By this time, okay, the wave has to be completed, okay. So system actually will try to propose, okay, all these dates, okay. So that's the advantage of okay the using the wave template. Otherwise, okay, you can just okay assuming that okay I'm just going to use okay this particular wave, and then now I know that okay this wave okay I'm just okay putting the cutoff date as okay tomorrow 20 o'clock okay morning okay uh, 8:35. That means okay till tomorrow 8:45 I can add okay the items okay to this particular okay my wave. Is it clear everybody? And then At twenty four o'clock, okay, two thousand twelve. In this case, wave template is uh, not a mandatory, right? Not a, see, wave template is not a mandatory. Wave template is mandatory only if you are going to create the wave automatically by the system. Yeah, background job or what uh, automatic. Exactly, exactly. But most of the times, okay, the warehouse supervisors, okay, at the morning, okay, usually they have the one wave automatically. They usually they copy the same waves, okay, for everyday activities. Okay. If you want it, okay. That is a template, and yeah, exactly. They you can okay, use some numbers as a templates, and then okay, they copy the same thing. Now, at tomorrow, okay, seventeen forty, okay, at okay, let's take that, okay, the nine forty six. I'm going to release it, okay. Now, for this particular wave, okay, so I know that, okay, twentieth, okay, zero four, two thousand twelve, by morning, okay, four o'clock, okay, the picking has to be completed, and then okay, the packing, okay, has to be completed. By say that okay seven o'clock, and then okay the staging okay it has to be completed okay by zero eight fifteen so that okay the truck okay can come in the next half an hour, and then okay that is the maximum I can say. Okay, so let's take this okay. Uh, staging means we are putting uh, uh, after the packing. Yeah, okay. so you can use it. Okay, all these things. Sir, stop. Ah, uh, stopping yeah. area. Yeah, stopping yeah. area, sir. Yes, exactly. What is it? Warning message. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, I just need to okay put the release time as okay. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, cut off time. Okay. Now, okay. So if you just go to the wave nine zero zero one, what happened to our wave? It's not even showing here. It's not saved actually. Okay. <laughs> Why nine thousand one should be there, right? This is a problem with the system. What happened? Nine thousand one. Anyway, <laughs> hey, what happened? Nine thousand three. Okay. So you can just okay enter that okay the wave three, and then okay if you want you can use the template and then you can enter these dates. 
Now, for the particular thing, okay, you need to assign okay the multiple okay the deliveries here. Okay, so that okay, you can just find okay some of the outbound deliveries, and then okay you can assign it to the wave. Okay, there are no not even okay any deliveries okay which need to be okay picked up. So that is why okay I don't I cannot assign any of these things okay. No, no, no. There are no deliveries now. No, oh, there are no deliveries. Okay, and then okay. See, once you have that, okay, the deliveries available. Okay, uh, we can create some deliveries, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We yeah, don't need ERP okay. too, correct? We can create, release it here. Yeah, itself, we can create outbound. Yes, yes. Okay. So, so when you create it, okay, the release okay, then okay, you can so system actually okay will create okay the pick task okay for those particular outbound deliveries okay. So that's the only thing, okay, that you need to do it, okay. And sometimes, if you want it, okay, you can merge, okay, the two waves also. Uh, Suraj, do you have any outbound delivery? Right now, I means not created. Okay, but you maybe, can okay. Uh, maybe in my system, okay, I can just show you tomorrow, okay. How actually, okay, I can just okay release that, okay, the wave, okay, and then okay, it has to create, okay, the pick task also. But okay, the wave is always an optional one. Okay, if you want it, you can use it. Otherwise, okay, you can go to the delivery individually, and then okay, you can create the pick tasks also. Okay, so just try this exactly particular thing makes and then. Sorry. What exactly makes a change in when you create the wave and all? Yeah, the only yeah. difference is that okay, you will be releasing instead of you are going to the delivery and then creating the pick task. Okay, you just click the release button that will create the pick task. Nothing okay. else means okay. and the clubbing of some data. No, clubbing we can hold. We can hold. Suppose okay, let's take that okay. I have okay the one wave already, and okay, assuming that okay, you want to put all the deliveries. Okay, you just want okay, assuming that okay, these two things okay, the two works can be combined at the same time. Okay, okay so you can just okay merge the two waves together. So all of them okay will point it as okay, combine it as one single wave only. This is why I have why 900 has inventory correct we can uh, see some delivery we can create it yeah, yeah yeah because okay i don't know the materials on this thing at this particular warehouse uh, yeah if you have okay one delivery okay we can just okay try it also uh, suraj okay can we just okay create one outbound delivery if you have it yeah you want in erp yeah okay ultimately okay i want it okay here where actually i can create the one minute. task automatically yeah you give me five sure, minutes. Sure. Yep, yep. Less than that. <laughs> oh, the picking is completed for this thing. Okay. So oh, even the goods issue also completed. Huh? Yes, everything is done there. <laughs> okay. Let's do one thing. Hmm. That you just okay create that thing for me. One minute. One minute. Yep. yep. Whatever the errors you have got, the same errors I also got. Okay. Loading group and all. Oh, okay. That's good at least. Okay. Thanks to Kannan and Sundar. <laughs> But system is very slow. Yeah, yeah. System is very, very slow. So what actually, so I am trying to do is that, okay, for the existing document, I am trying to do the reverse the goods issue and then, okay, cancel the picking also. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> so I can just okay use it okay the same document also. <laughs> I'll send you a one complete material for the wave, okay? That contains even that okay, how to use the condition records, everything. It's a straightforward concept only. In a one minute it will be ready. Yep, yep, no issues. But okay, this system. Okay, anyway, we need uh, always a S O R what for outbound. No need, right? Sometimes no need of it. Yeah, no need of S O R. We can uh, E W itself. We can create it, correct? Which one? No, outbound delivery. Yeah, we can create it, but data uh, yeah, entry is very difficult. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's why only. Otherwise, okay, you can create it, okay, directly. There's no issue at all. <laughs> the data entering is a difficult part only. <laughs> yeah. I was having one requirement. Uh, you some day before uh, that is creating a stops for a route sorry creating a stops for route okay and uh, there was uh, around 20 routes and uh, 200 stop each okay so it was a manual task mm -hmm. We have anything like BAPI or body where we can create, uh, upload the stops? Uh, I don't know, but okay, maybe in the transportation management, okay, we can find some of the BAPIs and then we can copy paste the same code. Uh, so it is the transportation okay. management, okay, we have, okay, this data usually, okay, we load it from the legacy systems. Mm -hmm. So, you you got it uh, one delivery, one delivery oh, is in. Oh, is it okay? But the only way we, we need to wait for SMQ2 to run that. Oh, is it okay? saying okay outbound delivery one got created okay so I just okay. Okay. why actually for this thing okay the picking cancellation is not working So this picking, I just want to cancel now because anyway the GI is okay, not done. I think okay, I just okay created this outbound delivery still okay. Okay, now I got it also. Just okay, delete this particular thing. Now okay, the cancel pick should work. Okay, so now if I go here, okay, even the, can you see here now? Okay, the way, okay, how okay, we can reverse the whole picking also, okay, if you have done, okay, any wrong material, okay. So stock has gone to same bin or what? Uh, that I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it will be there, okay, where I think you dropped it, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, so now picking is not available, okay, yeah. So let's say that, okay, SCWM slash, okay, the wave. Now let's try to create, okay, this particular wave. Okay, so now temporary wave. Okay, so 
now release method okay it's like okay it is like okay the manual now for this particular thing okay I just want to assign okay the our delivery 1901 I just want to assign it okay so if you can select it okay and then okay, you can assign this particular delivery now okay so just okay save this particular okay the wave okay so now for this particular wave okay if you want it okay now come man okay so the warehouse request okay if you look at okay the warehouse items okay what happened to this thing okay so in this wave okay I have 1901 you can see that okay this contains okay the items okay whenever okay if you want it okay you can add okay the more items or if you want it okay you can do the undisplacement or if you want to split okay the quantity wise also okay the item wise okay, you can just split it or if you want okay you can go to the corresponding delivery also so very same thing like okay the warehouse order kind of thing only okay now once okay if I want okay the wave is available okay if I just okay click the button okay the release okay it has to be available okay now can you see here Kanan yeah okay. task is created yeah exactly it's the same thing okay it will go and okay create the pick task and once the tasks are getting created okay it will go and okay, it will go as part of the warehouse order no, okay. okay okay is it clear now yeah so the only thing okay condition records I am using it only for to determine the templates only nothing else okay so if I am not using the condition record no problem yeah condition records are used it only to determine the template only otherwise okay you can just okay go to the wave transaction and then you can create the wave manually and then okay you can just okay use this thing so usually the condition records are used to group the multiple deliveries and then okay put them under the particular wave template no, suppose all the i'm thinking yeah why should we increase one task for the warehouse sorry why we should increase one activity for warehouse <laughs> no but okay let's take this example that okay uh, daily at 3 o'clock okay want to start the picking activity Otherwise, okay, you have to go and okay, uh, assign. Okay, you can. You need to get the list of all the deliveries, and then you need to assign. You need to create a wave manually, and then you need to assign all the deliveries, right? That's what I will not create the wave. I will just check how many uh, delivery has been created and uh, click on but where it starts. No, but it is still a manual activity, right? Mm -hmm. See, okay, if you want, okay, nobody actually has to go to the system, and then okay, nobody should not even touch anything everything has to be done automatically then you the way we require Sini, Sini, I have a question is a wave, wave uh, is a different from batch, batch picking uh, it's is a it kind a of same concept batch it's picking same concept. is like I want to but no. wave is re, you, after release we are we are getting multiple tasks exactly right? task. but yeah. how I can combine this into order and no, that is okay. Comes under the warehouse order creation rule, Kanan. Okay. Okay. See, so I wave, want to pick, optimize the picking, not. Uh, not okay, optimize the, the picking. Okay, you are not doing it in the wave. Okay, that you are doing it in the warehouse order. Okay. Okay. Double, okay. That is the warehouse order creation rule. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. The wave is something like okay. If I want to daily start the activity at three o'clock. I mean, it has to be finished by 5 o'clock. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. So, it, see, wave does not contain anything, okay, the rocket science. It contains only these fields only, nothing else. <laughs> okay. My understanding is that I thought is, uh, is uh, optimizing the picking. Nothing else. It's not okay. <laughs> okay. 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 So, you can just, okay, have these things and then you can define the category of which we defined it, which you can have it, okay, the wave type so that, okay, you can, you can schedule this thing as a background job so that, okay, system will go and, okay, release this activity. Okay, so the the program okay which you need to schedule it as a background job is okay SCWM slash wave underscore okay release okay this is the program I think that I can just give the right program star okay wave star okay okay can you see here yeah, this is the program which will schedule it as a background job so that okay this program will go and okay, release my waves, okay? At the particular okay, cutoff time. 
are okay to check them okay what are all the waves okay, which are due for the time and then it will release the waves okay yeah so once we delete the waves exactly what happens like it will create now, um, yeah so the, if you yeah if you look at actually here okay it went and okay it, it created the warehouse task right, now okay. right yeah that's all it do nothing else okay oh okay Okay. Like this program, we can schedule to run, for example, daily in the evening or sometime, and uh, it will. Yeah, usually, thing. okay, we schedule look at this program at okay afternoon one o'clock, and then okay the evening three o'clock, and then one at five o'clock based on the times. Okay, what time you want to start your pick operations? Okay. So what this program will do is that okay, this program will check all the waves available in the system, and then it will check okay what are all available for that particular okay the cutoff and release time. So then, okay, if the release time is over, then it will go and okay, release the wave. Okay. Okay, that's all. It's same thing like okay, instead of I'm going manually and then clicking the release button, the program will go and okay, click the release button. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's all I'm saying. So the only thing the condition records is required only for the wave template determination only. So what the wave template contains is it contains all the timings like okay, what is the cutoff time, what is the release time, everything. Okay, so that is give a basic idea now what the wave and then how you can work with the wave and how you can assign the deliveries to yeah. the wave also. Okay, okay. So tomorrow, what I can do is that okay, I can take you through the process for under storage control also for the outbound. Okay, and then okay, I can so take you through the little bit of tomorrow is Thursday. Okay, then okay, we can have it on Friday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye.